All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 79, I think. It might be 78. I actually, like, I actually checked this time. I just forgot because I'm just an old man. Um, I did check this time. I swear, I really, really did. We are playing Carl Sarp's fourth place deck from yesterday's Insight Esports tournament, a tournament that I came in, in 15th. Um, uh, yeah. And uh, Carl oh just played Goblins. No, no Strixhaven cards. No mystical archives, just jamming the old gobos. Super linear, super straightforward goblin deck here, and we're gonna see how it runs in this new, uh, this new historic format. Of course, mystical archives are really, really changing things. You know, 34 cards entering the format at once, plus the Strixhaven cards. I mean, if you missed it, real quick, um, here's the deck that I played yesterday. I'm gonna be going over these matches later. Uh, Happy bicycle day. Resub, Automator, thanks so much. I'm going to be going over the, my, my match with this deck after Mog Monday. Look for that on YouTube, too. Super cool deck. A lot of new cards, obviously. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's a pretty impactful set for uh, for Historic. But, yeah, we're just playing Goblin today. It's Mog Monday, so this is not my, this is the wrong deck. This one. Carl. Carl. I'm going to call you Car. Uh, I'm going to call you Car. So, super straightforward. And this is a good thing, honestly. Um, the format's changed a lot. A lot of kind of combo decks and graveyard decks. What's up, JD? And uh, if they're, you know, once we're back in sort of like a, we're going to do linear stuff, I'm going to put Arc Light Phoenix in the graveyard, or I'm going to whatever, then Goblins being linear makes a lot of sense too. I am a little worried with the prevalence of the card Memory Lapse, which is a very good card against Muxus. Um, also very good against Iron Crag Feet. But um, we'll see how it goes. Just Goblins. It's a pretty, pretty simple list here. Oh, there, are four, there are four lay lines on the board. Because there's a lot of graveyard stuff happening. I kind of wanted to play um, a resting beast deck yesterday, just didn't have time to like put it together. So let's jump right into Mog Monday. And first, quick word from our sponsors at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Just another Mog Monday. Thanks, Fawn Fish. If you haven't followed us, hit that follow button. Of course, we're on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. Thanks so much. How oh, we can keep this in. It's not great. Uh, so we are a little short on lands. We have Iron Crag. We have Muxus. Winter Pizza asks, how did Historic Phoenix feel in terms of the power level of the Modern Phoenix? It's certainly worse. No Metamorphose. There isn't really a good secondary threat in Historic Phoenix, um, like Thing of the Ice, because Thing of the Ice is like really, really good. Would your lands? Sweet. Um, interesting question. Would I be interested in trading a Prospector for Atlanta Rolfs? I guess we have Muxus like literally next turn, so I don't think I would. Play Snoop Gobby Gob. And next turn we just have... Uh, might even sack this Snoop, honestly, to cast Muxus, to cast Iron Crag and Muxus, because we want to keep Prospector in play for post Muxus, probably. We'll see our top cards and stuff like that. Ooh, Llanowar Elves, Watery Grave. What is going on here, Doug? Dougie Doug, what are you doing? What, whatever you're doing, it's not normal. It's not normal. Jade Light Ranger? Aw, oh, do it. Do it, Jade Light Ranger. Let's see it. Let's see it. Tommy says, The Mog Monday theme song is going to be your Monday alarm clock song. Yes, you got to get it early on stream to hear the Mog Monday theme. Because, uh... Just kidding. If you miss it, you miss it. Witherbloom command? Alrighty then. Uh, so, they're going to mill three and return a land if they hit one. And they're going to kill my prospector. Okay, I mean, that turns off our uh, Mox return. They hit a land, so good for them, I guess. And another land or else. Man, they are really cranking here. Jeez. Another land on top, and then another land. Jeez. This was a two-lander to start. Uh, it was a two-lander to start. Inconceivable! Brainstorm, sure. Citadel Storm with Witherbloom command? And my allergies like just turned on. It sucks. Oh man. It's it's a I love the spring. I hate the cold. 
the spring comes, I'm like, yes, it's so nice out. And then I have a, a like a three day, a three week stretch where I just like can't function because I have allergies really bad. Hold on, folks, I'm sorry. Watch my opponent do things. Card's really good. Uh, with a Bloom Apprentice, it's honestly really, really good. You have a War Chief on top. Hmm. I mean, that makes Muxus even better, right? So, this card's super solid. Magecraft, Drain for one. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna pop off here, and we're gonna play Iron Crag into Muxus. And there's a Keithin on top, so uh, let's do this. Just another Mog Monday. All right, so, not the best. Uh, double Matron. And uh, a war chief. So we're gonna get like we can uh, we can chieftain Cranko next turn. Let's get a get a chieftain. And should we get a uh, a trash master in case they are playing Citadel? Am I gonna like listen to chat for once? Listening to chat sucks. I hate listening to chat. Um. Oh, I didn't full control. If I hit a Krenko on top, I couldn't have snooped. That's annoying. You always got a full control when you when you when you mux this. Uh, get another mux this too. I think that's fun. Top card is Phyrexian Tower. Sure. Um. So we're just gonna jam here. I want to keep this War Chief alive though. I need War Chief back. I mean, like, if they have a Citadel next turn, could be a. Uh, Pretty good. They have to like really pop off though. So what I sh should I trade the Warchief for the Witherbloom? We have Chieftain next turn, but I can't Chieftain and Cranko, right? Three, two, no. I'm just gonna do this. Let's go. What's up, Doctor? Kai, I've reset up. Thanks so much. Y'all great. Y'all great. Opponents have a tank here. In the tank. We're gonna chump block the Muxus. Hey Jim, how are y'all? What's up, Turtle Madness? Thanks for the reset. Appreciate that. Passage. Alright, stay out of Citadel here. The yeah, trade was okay. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Citadel. And not the other side. Uh. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead as. Shoot. Game. All right. Blouses. Bolus is Citadel, A. Eh? So, uh, I mean, I don't know how to sideboard that much, honestly. Like, they're going to bring in, like, Aether Gust or something like that to deal with my Mux, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I want to, like, shave down on Iron Craig feet and bring in a few braids. Um... Yeah. No class. I know. There's no There's no old bordered snow mountain on Arena yet, unfortunately. Shit. Oh, God. It begins, folks. It begins. Oh, man. Just take a few weeks off. Take care of the colon or ankle. I'm going to suffer through my allergies. I don't want to do much, honestly. I don't mind shaving, like, an uh, Iron Craig or two because we don't really need to, like, Jam Mux is super hard, and they could have Aether Gust and stuff like that. Might have Thought Seize, too. I don't know what's in her deck, honestly. Um, we're assuming it's like some sort of like Tendril Storm Citadel deck, but. So you could bring in like a Braid, obviously. Um, I already take I take my, my Allegro or whatever. I, I took it late this morning, though. I just took it like, like, like five minutes ago. Um. Cut all the Iron Craig's bringing the Braid. The Braid also it kills Land Rolls and stuff, too. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, my God. Oh, just another Allergy Monday.
It's so annoying too, because like I freaking it's so nice out. I'm just so happy it's so nice out. Alright. Bear says, hey Jim, sorry for asking if you answered already. But just got here and don't do social media. Are you planning on doing Bronze Mythic or Strict Haven? Uh yes I am. I'll be starting that this week. I encourage you to join the Discord. Um, even if you're not a Twitter user or a social media user, I post everything on Discord as well. So um, we also have a great community. There's like over four, 400 pile drivers hanging out in the Discord. And um, one of the best perks to being a subscriber to my stream or a YouTube member is my Discord. There are many other perks too, for only $5 a month. <laughs> waka, waka. But, um, but yeah, definitely have a Discord for sure. Right after I sang that, the cru person in the crucible in, in, the, in, the, in the cubicle next to me sneezed. That's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, there's going to see sure. So I want to know how I'm on Monday. They brainstorm locked themselves. Uh, it's not quite the card it is in, uh, in other formats, you know? Wano on Mog Monday. Let's go. So, yes, we have Bronze Mythic Strixhaven coming up uh, this week. Uh, I still owe you guys a hair straighten stream, which is going to be the first Mog Monday with Strixhaven. I mean, um, the first uh, Bronze Mythic with Strixhaven. I also owe you guys a reverse Mohawk stream, which will be later on as well. And uh, on, uh, yeah, so easy game. Let's go. Yeah, ship it. Sure. We're going against my religion to be a pile driver. You're a blue green player at heart. Come on, just join the Discord. You can just say you're a, a Simic pile driver or something. We played we played Euro Goblins once on my Monday. And I call us past that on my couch. She's doing alright. I used to watch Oko and Goblins too, actually. Blood Crypt, Dragon Skull Scum at Thutsies. Okay. Taking Wily Goblin? Damn. That is, uh... That's aggressive. Iron Craig. Not, Iron Craig against Thutsies is not particularly ideal. Iron Craig is a lot better where you're kind of just like, I'm gonna do my thing, you're gonna do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing faster. Vroom, vroom! I mean... Yeah. Do your, do your thing. This time taking the Muxus. Okay. I mean, the Cranko, I mean. Swamp. Oh, that's so bad. That's the risk of playing multiple Iron Craigs. Uh, the second one's so bad. So, against Thoughtseize, drawing two of them. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. I do like that card. I do like that card. I'm not gonna lie. Young Pyromancer. Okay. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! I can't thought seize the top of my deck! Ha 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 Come on now! Pretty good. Let's search for treasure. Game. Man, that was easy. Blouses. All right, so Thoughtseize deck, Iron Craigs are out. Um, they only showed us Pyromancer and Thoughtseize, so I'm not really sure like how graveyardy they are. Definitely not bringing in the ley lines in the dark like that. Uh, they didn't show Luris, so might be a little bigger than that. Uh, I'll bring some braids. I think. I think I want a ringleader too. I'm gonna cut the trash master. And, uh, I don't think about the horns, but. I gotta get rid of this Rage Shadow Legends thing. That is over. I just gotta get paid. You gotta pay me! Show me the money! That'd be a good soundboard thing. Someone, uh, one of the mods put that in, in, in Discord, please, please, and suggestions. Show me the money for the soundboard. Please, someone, moderator, put it in Discord. Suggestions, please, thank you. Modules. Live announcements. I... Alright. That's off now. Mountain, let's go. Big bucks, no whammies, also good. What's up, Dougie Doug? 
Didn't stand a chance on Mon Monday. Ah, that's okay, Doug. No one does. No one does. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. Doug, your deck was sweet. You are playing like the Bulls Citadel combo deck, right? All right, so they take the uh, take the the Cranko. We just draw Cranko immediately. Thoughtseize Bug in full effect. It's not part of our library. Uh, uh, Chieftain, sure. Blood Chief Slayer, sure. I mean, we'll play this game all day, you know. Just another Goblin Chieftain. Sweet, Dougie. Are you, Dougie, are you, Dougie Dog, are you playing uh, Weather of a Storm? Or is it just Tendrils? Or Young Pyromancer? Alright. You know, thoughts easier or something? Nope, it's the land. Only got one guard left. Uh, I'm gonna give him the old Crank Dog, you know? Let's crank it up here. Just another Cranko Monday. Who's pumped for uh, our next Mog Monday showdown? It's looking like... Who wants to hear who we got? We got a good one. We got a big one. We have one of the biggest names in Magic lined up. Probably. We're, we're not, like, finalized yet, but... um. Crab gone, Barry! You told me to show you the money. Love the content, smiley face. Aww. That's all I have to do is scream, show me the money, and people will just give me money? Inconceivable! That's freaking great! Show me the money! Show me the money! <laughs> Bingo! All right. Appreciate it, thanks so much. I have to declare it. Not Mr. Beast, though. That, that, that's a really good promotion, though. That's a really cool promotion. Who's that? Masturbation! New sub. <laughs> Hi, Seymour Butts there? Uh, is there a Seymour Butts here? Seymour... I like to see more Butts! <laughs> that was well worth the $3 I got from that subscription. Thank you, Masturbation. I appreciate that. I see Wiener. Is there an I see Wiener here? I see Wiener. <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep the play, Lars. That's great. That's great. Well played. Well played. Just enough like capitalization and, and, and word changes too to be to be um to be not immediately noticeable at a glance. Well played. Well played. Duress. Swing and a miss. Those that beat me yesterday, we didn't play against Goblin yesterday. All right, so we got a Snoop or we got a Wily Goblin here. Um, we're gonna Wily, I think, to protect our Snoop. Um, try to get some value out of it, you know. Thanks, Crab. Appreciate it. So, who's the guest? I didn't hear enough hype for, for our potential guest for uh, Mog Monday tomorrow. Or not, not tomorrow, 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 yeah. Um, for uh, for our next Mog Monday showdown. Dougie Doug! You sub, what's your name away from? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'll give you all a hint. Hall of Fame Magic player. One of the best of all time. Not Nassif, not LSV. Has great hair. So it's Crokies then. <laughs> like Crokies. Um, yes, Reed, we're talking to Reed Duke. We, Reed, 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 Reed wants to come on. We haven't actually scheduled yet, but hopefully we'll get Reed on uh, for the next Mob Monday, Mob Monday Challenge. He should be awesome. Reed's obviously great. Core Spirit Dancers are here, sure. We of course be playing Jund. Alright, we draw a lot of lands here. We need, we, need a, we need a spell on top of our deck. That's a goblin matron. That's pretty good. Um We can oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna full control here. We're gonna cast a matron and get a 
I mean, we're gonna get a Muxus. It just sucks that they draw Thoughtseize, but. Oh, it's off guard, Scryco! Oh, it's Oh my god! Now he can gas Muxus! God! Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Hold on. Uh, I, I didn't resolve. I was supposed to resolve first. I got excited. I, I, thought, I thought this was the Matron trigger, not the Matron itself. So I, I missed the Goblin. Whatever. I just got so excited. I was so excited. I can't hide it. I screwed up. It's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna go get me a, a Mux Daddy. Can I just get a, a Cranko and kill them, actually? Yeah, I just get Cranko and kill them, right? Yeah. Sack four Goblins, play Cranko, make five Goblins. Have uh have nine attackers, they're all two power. And nine minus seven, fourteen. Yeah, there's dead. So I'll just get the crank off the top of my deck. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. No, nah, I wish I I wish I, I wish I had to read, but What's up, Justin? So uh alright, so a little uh this is a weird one because Auras is obviously kind of a linear matchup. But they have Thoughtseize, so our Iron Crags are like, eh, you know, they're okay. Um, we're going to shave one. I'm going to leave two in. I'm also going to shave... I mean, Trash Magic can deal with a possible, like, cage or whatever. Definitely like the idea of Frostbite, because killing their Enablers is really important. It does, it does it really cheap, so I like that. I'm going to cut the Trash Master. They could have cage, but they're playing Lurus, too, which is kind of weird. Um... Maybe we go to one Iron Craig feet. I'll shave like a Snoop or something. Bayou Groff? It's the new Tarmogoyf? In what context? Attacker math? I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Attacker math. My bad. Not supposed to do math. 25 lands is great. Um, Cranko. We can get out of one Iron Craig feet, honestly. We never want to draw two, and they're going to have four Thoughtseize in their deck, so... Let's try this. Let's try this. Are we going to call the Dollars deck? Yeah, I mean, it's a cool card. I like it. It's pretty powerful for common, honestly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh... That's a tough one. Um, we do have the Frostbite to kill their first, like, Saram or whatever. But, um, we're, like, pretty shonked up here. Look, you mean, you mean in Constructed? Like, what what Constructed deck are you playing this card in? You know, like, like what are you sacrificing over and over and over again to Groff that's, like, making it worth playing, you know? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I, I, I Twitch is cool. Cleric is cool. We're talking to Greg Hatch. I'm not super familiar with Greg, with Greg Hatch. Uh, the name sounds familiar, but I don't really know who uh, who they are or what they're known for. Uh, this is tough. I think we're going to mulligan. We just got to make land drops. We have the Frostbite, too, but we can't keep a two-lander here to not draw. We need to draw so many lands in a row. That's better. All right, now we're a little soft to, uh, to Thoughtseize. We could just, gyp, just, dump, just dump the Matron. Uh, yeah, let's do this, I guess, because we can always cast Matron and then use it to her mana, so. Swap. Oh, let's see. Sure. So, probably take the Prospector, honestly, because our make our hand pretty bad. Ba, 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 ba. Do Goblins get any new cards? Nope! Not a single Strixhaven card in this deck. This is, uh, if you're sitting welcome to the stream, my name's Jim Davis. This is, this is Vlog Monday. We are playing, uh, uh, we are playing Carl Seraps, fourth place goblin deck from the Insight Esports 5K yesterday, but I also played him, but I did not play goblins. All right, uh, we get a, a Frostbolt off the top here. No, that's not bad. Bluff Gem Pump. Bluff jump. Oh, wow, what a block. No fear, Shakespeare. Why is the stream all these things still going off? I turned it off. Bastard. Bastard rage shadow. What are you doing to me? Alright, so, I mean, we obviously don't really beat a, uh, a super large creature. One, you know, straight up. 
Uh, we can no longer kill the Spirit Dancer. And, uh... We just need some, uh... Some help here from the little Mux Daddy. A Matron? Okay. We Matron for... What? Could be another Muxus, honestly. I guess they have Thoughtseize. Play around, play, play around Thoughtseize here. I kind of like that, honestly. Sega. So we're like guaranteed to have Muxus next turn. Unless they have somebody to kill both my Prospectors. Which shouldn't really happen, I don't think. They're trying! They are trying. Uh, it's not gonna work, but they're trying to kill both the prospectors. Get off my plane! Get out of here with that ish! All right, here we go. Oh wow! Oh yeah! Oh, Phyrexian Tower too! Oh my god! Doesn't actually matter, but give me that. And I guess we're second this too. Let's go! Stay with me, folks. Daddy's home. Oh, he's mad. Wasn't actually that good. It's pretty good. But, um, you got a tea time today, Crab Gone Barry? That's awesome. I miss playing golf. Uh, I've played golf in a long time. All right, so, I mean, with Mux Daddy and him, he can go, like, Mux attack, Goblin, Goblin attack, probably. We talk, we talk about the Prospector. We don't really need Prospector, right? It's kind of like nice to have him play, but this is going to be for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's pretty good. We could, uh... That's true, because we, we, might, like, we might need a chump blocker next turn. Sure, let's just do this. Um, we could have rolled again on Muxus by sacrificing both treasures, Muxus... Both goblins and the prospector, but like that seems unnecessary. We're like already in great shape. They're like stuck on lands. We have blockers. Like even if they thought seize this next turn, they're gonna go to three and we should kill them with the board. They need to like thought seize and lifelink, and not a lot of lifelink in uh in black white auras. So What do they got here? I was, wasn't watching. Angelic Gift? That's seven, but not enough. Game. We were dead there to like a lot of auras, actually. Wow. But doesn't matter. Undefeated so far. 3 0 Mog Monday. Let's keep going. Oops. Oops. Oh, you got a Fajara. Our 100th copy of this card. Great. Let's go. Brought to you by Colossus Apparel. Not wearing a Colossus shirt today. Where my my other shirt? But Colossus Apparel is obviously the nut. Check out the great shirts, great designs. Colossus Apparel that shop. Promo code Jim Ten ten percent off your order. Colossus Apparel and that shop. Super comfortable. Great new designs. There are so many new designs. Hoodies, uh, stickers, uh, my shirt. Check them out. Colossus Apparel that shop. Promo code Jim Ten ten percent off your order. Uh, keep professional streamer. It's my job. That's what I do for a living. What's up, Egg Yolks? Four laps. New sub. What's your name? Where from? Where you from? Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Bonus game to get the diamond to be 5 -0. You got it. You got it. Wow. Let's go. Mog Monday. We're flying today. It's our fourth match already. Glass pool. Sure. Okay. I'm going to War Chief here. I don't know what this glass pool store is about. I want to get War Chief in play right now, I think. Sometimes that glass pool short is not kill creatures very well. So. Untap land go. Okay. Uh what's this all about? Four laps from Virginia. Appreciate it, my friend. You're great. Thank you. If you're a new sub, please join me in Discord. The best perk to my subscription, not even close. Alright. Uh new war chief here. What does glass pool mimic hollow fountain mean? Like a, is it like a flashy spirit deck? Is there is there even like is Rattle Chains legal? I think it is. I think it is. Um, sensors possible too, but like, why they have a glass pool shore, you know? One mana matron. Just 
Give me the old Mux Daddy. I'm here for it. What do you got for me? I'm thinking Rattle Chance. Nope. Niambi. The Steam Speaker. The old, the old blue white Terminate. Sure. Okay. Uh, some sort of like flashy Legends deck. Um, I don't want to have my Warchief now, honestly. I'm scared. All right, I mean, punish me, I guess. What do you got for me? Yeah, never. All right. Game. What's going on today? Blouses. Uh, so we saw one guard before we we just murdered them. Um, I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna cut my arm Craig feats. I'm gonna bring in. Uh, Discord, you got it, my friend. Um, I don't know what they're doing. At all. I'm going to bring in two Herald Horns. And a a Ringleader, I guess. I, or you can bring some more Braids, maybe? I, don't, I have no idea, honestly. I just don't know what they're doing. I'll bring in... Yeah, whatever, Ringleader, sure. That's fun. That's fun. Paid actors here on Mog Monday. Listen... You gotta subscribe to the stream. It's five dollars a month. You gotta donate. You don't know why? These paid actors ain't cheap. I do this every freaking Monday. All right. Twenty dollars an opponent. It adds up, folks. It adds up. Inspector. Do, 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 do. Can you be an opponent? Sure. Twenty bucks. I gotta pay you though, which is not good for me, I guess. Show me the money, not you the money. Want to bet today? Um, I didn't know what we were betting on. I just, I just kind of streamed. I don't know. No bets today. All bets are off. Is that clue? Sure. Sure. No, I missed like. God damn it! I was just I space jammed. Brainstorm is fine in historic. Not great. It's just a fair, decent card. Show me the ammo. Thanks, -E -Y 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 -Y. Elite Spellbinder. Okay, so they get to like, remove a card, and now Matron costs five. Mm, sure, I guess. That was a pretty shitty uh, misclick on the uh, Prospector. I'm gonna win anyway, though. You know what we call this? We call this Mission Impossible. I'm just gonna win anyway. I might have mentally made him a deck. That sucks. Skyclave, sure. It's called leveling the playing field, exactly. What what was all these lands on top of our deck? Alright. Um Well Mock has a five mana matron, so we're just gonna say go here. Hubris, yes. Is there a better one mana cantrip than brainstorm and historic? No. I think that opt could be better in very certain scenarios, but I think that for the most part, you should be putting in a little bit of effort to make brainstorm good. Twelve. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Let's do a time warp again. Sure. I'm gonna block now for fear of like five more time warps. They have a counter spell here, we're probably dead, but. Just gonna attack, time warp, attack, time warp, attack, time warp. Alright. Uh, five. The bugler, sure. Don't melee mage me. Oh man, I love Lush Bugler. I freaking love this card. It's so much fun. Oh my god, they're just going off on us. But you know what? We don't care what people say. Let's go, Mox. It's daddy's home. Is dad mad? Dad's kind of mad. 
Uh, alright. I've seen better, but sure. Skyclave. It's like splashing time warp with like a white weenie taxes deck kind of thing. Make it Skyclave my Krenko. It's kind of annoying, but uh. Narset control? I mean, Narset is good. I don't know what emergency powers is. Oh, that, that's like big, like, draw seven or whatever. Yeah, no haste sucks a little bit. She got it next turn, though. She's doing it, run, run right back. Let me hear that back. Bugler again. This is the fourth copy of Bugler. For a Charming Prince. That's pretty sick, actually. They can flicker their Spellbinder. So we need to draw a removal spell, which we don't really have in our deck. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're done, folks. I think, I think they got us here. Um... Now you know if they're playing on board some rule spells, it'll be fine, but. Alright, there's like weird death and taxes deck. Something. Drew a lot of lands too. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. Bring some rule spells, bring in the abrades and the frostbites. Uh, we're gonna cut the Trash Master and the Herald Torns. Um, I would say we can shave like I don't think any ringleader honestly. You shave like a, a Snoop and a Matron. Yeah, this is fun. Right, this is probably fun. I don't need Chandra either, honestly. Um, Snoop's fine. It gets worse than the small spells we're bringing in, too, but it's like a must answer card. Shape and Matron bring Chandra. Let's go. Let's go. Don't be worried, JD. Don't be worried. Why would you be worried here on Mod Monday? Mod Monday's a great day. It's a great day. Ba -na -na -na. Sure. Anyone? I don't know that song. It's a great day. Ba -na -na -na. It's a great day. Ba -na -na -na. Some something top of the morning. Ba -ba -ba -na -ba -na -na -na. Anyone? No, no. They were a band that was on my radio show. But, they're also members of the band are in a touring act. I can't find the pictures off the bat. But, that song is from Playdate. Which is a kid indie band. And... They uh, were formed by Greg from the Bouncing Souls and his wife, Shanti. Awesome, awesome, great kids band. Like, real music, pretty fun. And they were uh, they were a guest on my radio show, which is super cool. Obviously, Greg was the, the largest guest I ever had. This is freaking dope. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I would love to draw a card off Prospector. Um, and if you, have, if, you have, if you have kids, seriously. Yeah, go get the... the, the, the go find the two Playdate albums. Because they're awesome. And, uh... You know, your kids don't need to listen to, like, kids' bops garbage or whatever. It's, like, real, actual music by musicians. Super, super cool. Um, check it out if you got, if you got, if you got kids. All right. Um, we're going to get Mux Dog, I think. So we're playing Cranko next turn, too. Yeah, let's get Mux Dog. Play Date is the name of the band. Uh, Play Date. That's Greg and Shanti. And again, they were on my radio show, which is super, super cool. Uh, the pictures are somewhere. I don't know where they are exactly, but Charm Prince, I missed it because I was looking at, at uh, other stuff, so whatever. And uh, we're going to play Cranko here and just say go. The old Crank Dog. Bottom, bottom. Oh, yeah. We love a good bottom. I mean, so they must answer Cranko this turn. And also, we just have Moxes coming too, so. 
What's up, Cowspand? You're just watching my magma, my mag, my magma opus deck on uh, on YouTube. That is my cool stuff video this week, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be going over my matches from a tournament today as well at two X speed. Should be a lot of fun. So uh, that'll be after my Monday today. There's freaking dead as as anything, right? Let's get like Snoop, I guess. So I gotta get a card to cast this turn. Activate Cranko, blah blah blah. Okay. Chief. Sure. Ephemerate Charming Prince. You gonna bottom bottom again? Top, top! Inconceivable! It's alright. Watch out, they might have Nambi. That's true. That is true, actually. Rebound. Pad the stats. They just declined to rebound that? Why? Like, just free, right? It's not attacking. I don't know. Whatever. There's freaking dead. Who cares? We're gonna kill them. About to be four and zero here on Mog Monday. Elite Spellbinder. I mean, sure. They're they're so dead. We're going to War Chief Cranko 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 attack. I respect it. I respect the attack. Ah. Game. Four and oh, Mod Monday. Blouses. We're going for five oh here, and if we win this match, we'll go for diamond in the last match too. Let's go, Mod Monday. Yeah, and follow the stream with that follow button. Fourth on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Just another Mod Monday. A lot of discourse on Twitter this morning, talking about how why the um, MTG melee tournaments aren't super successful. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. Have you played a tournament on MG Melee? Have you had? Have you played a tournament that was uh, online? How did it go? Do you, what do you like about it? Why? Why? Why do you play? Why do you not play? Um, love to hear your thoughts on that. YouTube as well. YouTube as well, because the melee tournaments they do they do okay, but like you know, realistically, if a paper tournament has uh, you know 500 players in it, some SCG Open, that's regionally locked. Everyone in the world can play these events. There's only a couple hundred. It's so like, why? You know, what uh, What do you think it is that makes it like that? People haven't heard of it. I guess part of it. Like, there was a... The Insight Esports 5K yesterday. Granted, Insight's a new company. And hashtag, they, also, they sponsor me too. Uh, so, full disclosure. But, um, they're a new company. They're running great events with great prize pools. They had almost 200 players. They're still good. But, you know... One more cost, some more prize pool. I mean, the inside events are pretty freaking good. Like the, the prize structure is quite excellent. Not competitive enough. Don't have that much time in a day or weekend. Been doing that. Well, Bezel Dang, do you play in paper events? Like, would you go to like our Star City Open and play it, you know, like all weekend? And is it different because you're going there and like experiencing the actual like weekend? Lanor Elves, Rootbound Crag, Goose. I feel like I might be getting ponzed here. I got a bad feeling. I got a really bad feeling here. I got a bad feeling about this. I have uh, pets turned off, so that 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 kills the chase. Uh, I guess uh, I'm a murderer. Just F and M here and there. Oh God, Ooh, Chandra, sure. I got for fifty. I got for 50, 50 for top for top sixteen yesterday, and I also qualified for their invitational in a month, which is freaking awesome. It's a really really good tournament. Let's go. Kill your Chandra. Well, that was a disaster. Sure, that's true. Also, new set, hard to get wild cards. Fair. Alright, so I mean now we're just like freaking going nuts. Let's go crank daddy. Six round SG last five hours and all it's, yeah, it's definitely uh time consuming. I mean same question about arena events. I think the arena events are freaking awesome. Um, 
I'm going to trade for Bold Anderals if they want to do it here. Because the, they're in client, there's no wait times. I think they're they're insane. I think they're really, really amazing. They're simple, they're easy, they're fun. Um, and I imagine a lot of players playing them. Realistically. Three, six mana available to them. Glory Banger. I mean, that's like fine. We're just gonna like present lethal next turn anyway, so kill Cranko, sure. If there are any goblin, they're dead. That we can cast. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. It's a great day! Da -na -na -na. That's true. That is also true, I guess. You have, to have, you have to have, like, a full, full collection on Arena. Not everyone has a full Arena collection. That's very fair. You know, people own the cards in paper or whatever. It's obviously a weird time for Magic, because, like, paper magic's not really a thing right now. But, alright, so some sort of Llanowar Elves, Chandra Glorybringer deck. Um, I'm gonna guess we want our, our Braids. And, like, cut the Trash Master, bring in the Braids. I'm gonna shave uh, Iron Craig Feet. I'm a little concerned with, like, Cage and stuff like that. Uh, so we're favoring a Braid over Frostbite. I don't think we need that many of these. I'm going to leave one in. Let's just try this. I'm not going to overboard. Twitch coverage for these events. Which events? It's almost self-defeating if they're small because you want the Cloud of Big Win. That's true. That's true. Dio says, my friend claims Counterspell is being printed directly into Modern, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, I claim that in Mario Brothers 1, if you hold your ears and tap your butt while you play level 3, you'll go to negative minus minus world. I'm telling you it's true. I'm telling you it's true. Uh, that is not true, Dio. It's possible it'll be in the next Modern Horizon set, but um, nothing is confirmed. The list is running the overlay of Vanilla Dumpster, as always, here on Mog Monday. Mog Monday. M Monday. My uncle at Nintendo confirmed. All right. Um, I'm gonna shift Matron here. We're a little mana stuck. We have a lot of good gas here anyway. No worries, Vanilla. Cardboard live. Bring it to you live. So no Lionel Rolfs here. Um, we're going to Wily Gaul in the face of possible stomp. Right. Yeah, it's in the Mystic the Mystic Archives. But that does not mean it's legal in anything it's not already legal in. It's a first store. It's too. All right. I mean, this is, like, fine. They have, like, Chandra plus something here. They don't. All right, good. Um, that's a that's a fat draw. We can uh, put Chandra to one here, which is a little scary, honestly. We can't kill it. Uh, but all right. Hey, watch it. Tasty says I came a couple games late. I missed the intro. Mind rolling it again? Nope. You gotta get here early. Or watch on YouTube, I guess. But. So play Goose without plussing Chandra. I think a plus for mana here. Exile top card. All right, it is it is Stone Rain. It, it is Ponza. But now they're like just super dead though. So we have Franco next turn. So all right. Well, uh, here's Crank Dog. Don't have like Star of Extinction or something like that. So that would suck. Uh, you two attack you. We gotta guarantee Chandra dies, even though it's like kind of overkill. But they could jump block twice and keep Chandra. So it's over when I say it's over. But you were taking a nap. But I'm like tired. 
I mean, Star of Extinction would be pretty brutal here. Nicole, your lunch is just sitting right next to you. Glory Banger? Sure. Okay, they're taking that. Did fire the missiles! Damn, that's a sweet earth. Basically a boomer reference? Yeah, I know, I'm old. Alright, you get like a Cranko on top or something like that? Or a Prospector. Or land, sure, whatever. Let's go! Classic two decade old inner. Raise your hand in chat. That's going to be today's word of a day or phrase of a day. Uh, the phrase of a day for YouTube comments is fire the missiles. Raise your hand in chat if you remember that 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 uh, that flash video. All right. Back when memes were me. Back in my day on the internet, you had to download the flash player to watch your memes. They're gonna sawtooth demolisher. Super cool card. Super cool card. They're gonna kill their thing. They're gonna grab figure's cage. You're too late. You're dead. But then they tied. Game. Five O Mog Monday. Blouses. I ain't done yet though. Someone wanted me to play that last match for for our level up. We're gonna do it. Kids have TikTok. We had E Bombs World. Yeah, E Bombs World. You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. Exactly, Crimson. You got it. You got it. You're the man now, dog. No! I'm so old, I remember everything. What's up, Marty? Yeah, I, I don't know what, the, the, what that one, Marty. Nicole's referenced that before. I, I didn't know that one. I think Historic's great. I think Historic's a great format. It's a little weird. It's a little non-intuitive at times, but... Trondor! Tournament review is after this match. Let's go. Oh, Sped. Sounds great. Yeah, I'm in, Sped. I'm in. I'll be playing the Hunter Pence uh, uh, Sweatsuit Invitational Draft Tournament this Thursday evening. You heard it here first, folks. That's my Thursday. I gotta get my, get my calendar going. I gotta get things going. Gotta get things going. Exclusive update. Thursday, 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern uh, uh, Spay. What is it? Sped, sorry. Question. Would Red Red Instant deal four to any target be too good for standard? Yeah, that card's way too good. That's Boros Charm. But also hits players. I mean, I mean creatures. Like that card is way too good. Hunter Pence, the Hall of Fame baseball player. Yes, also a Magic player. Runs an awesome tournament draft every Thursday. I put the two of them, the two I played on my YouTube. Um, you can go, you can go watch those on my YouTube. You see, it's my YouTube. You know, videos. The big pink ones right here. See, and uh, you can go in. All right, what is up, my see? friends? There we are. It's chaos draft last time I played. Stock it up. And then I, I missed the trick save one last week because of uh. 10 new brews, but. Yeah, Hunter's the bomb. I already told my funny Hunter Pence story. Sped, maybe, Sped, have you heard my funny Hunter Pence story? I haven't actually personally met Hunter, but I have a funny Hunter Pence story. All right, I'll, I'll tell it again. So, we're playing against an Arclight Phoenix deck, sure. Uh, so, GP New Jersey, which was, uh, I don't know, a while ago now. And I didn't make day two because I sucked. And Nicole was in her day two draft pod. And she's just sitting there, sitting next to Wyatt Darby, you know, a little, little razzled, their first day two draft. And this tall dude with a beard walks up, he's holding a coffee and a binder. And he goes to like grab something and just drops his coffee on the floor and it spills everywhere. And everyone at the draft table is like, you know, they're all nervous, getting ready for their draft. They all look over, he's like, oh, judge, I guess. And the judge comes over and cleans it up and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's a thing, I guess. And I walk away. And I find out later that that was Hunter Pence. And just like an amusing, you know, human moment because like Hunter Pence is a double, two-time World Series champion, you know, all-star caliber, you know, millionaire baseball player. And he's just like, you know, he's a person like us. He just, you know, spilled his coffee and got embarrassed at a, at a magic event. Happens to all of us, you know? So it's super cool Hunter plays. Hunter Hunter played uh, the PTQ there. We were in the same bracket for a while. We didn't play. Uh, but yeah, super awesome tournament. I'm playing it on Thursday night. Uh, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Single limb. Strict save and draft. I'll be streaming it, of course. Why not get Warchief? Why would I get Warchief? Folks, I, this is like the, the biggest, the, the number one 
pet peeve of every single streamer or content creator you watch. Please don't say, why didn't you do this? Or why aren't you playing this? I have my reasons why I didn't do it. But like, I'd much rather hear why you're concerned why I didn't do something else. It's better just to say, I think you should get War Chief here because of X, Y, and Z. What do you what do you think of that or something like that? You know, please, please rephrase your questions. It's very, very difficult. I'm not, I'm not trying to dog on you. All right, you know the little micers they always they, they kind of think out. But please try and rephrase your question a little better, um, so I can I can answer you better. I did get a war chief. That's why. <laughs> and I knew I was drawing it next turn. That's why I didn't get it. Ha. Ha ha. All right, so um, we'll play war chief and we'll attack. And, uh, give me a Mux Dog. <laughs> we'll just say, yeah. Mux Dog on tap. Okay, it's a very difficult question to ask. Um, why didn't you do this? Well, I have a million reasons why I didn't do it. You know, you tell me why you think, why, what you think I should have done, and then tell me why you think that's true, and we can have a, we can have a, we can have a talk about it, you know? It's not backseating, it's just like the, the phrasing of the question, you know? Uh, you gotta give me the information. The impetus, as me playing the game, I am either playing a card in my deck, or making a certain play for many reasons that I have obviously thought of that I think are correct. You know, um, if you're gonna ask a question about that, you need to bring your reasons to me. You know, you need to say, well, I think you should play this card because of this, or I think you shouldn't play this card because of this, or make this play because of this. Yeah, if you just ask me why I'm not doing it, I mean, I'm just not doing it because I, I think it's bad or whatever. Right? I think it's wrong. You know. So they're gonna finale here. Kill my war chief. Get to get back uh, a single phoenix, right? Why don't I play Mage Second Treasure and Find Prospector? Why would I do that? Omega, what did we just talk about? Why should we do that? Kill him! Let's go! Daddy's home! Let's play Moxes next turn. See, that's, 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 see, because we can say that. Oh my god! I'm not even watching the game. I'm not even watching the game. He's gonna win anyway. Easy game, god. Easy game. All right, let's go. So some sort of uh, Arc Light Phoenix deck. I don't think we even, we even want these against them, honestly. Like we don't even need to like, like we're not gonna die to Arc Light Phoenixes really. Our concern is just making sure like Mux resolves. Um, am I, am I winning, son? I'm winning. Yep, I'm winning. Let's go. Yeah, follow with that follow button, of course. With Prospector in my hand, you assumed assured the Mux is the next turn. That's why. But I already had I had five lands and a treasure, right? Why sack the treasure when I can just keep the treasure for next turn, right? See, once you give reasons, I can get, I can, I can talk back to you, you know. But like the the question itself, it when phrased like it isn't useful. But the when you, when you say, well, I think you should do this because of this, this, and this, I can say, well, actually, I did it because of this, this, and this. And we have a good dialogue and stuff. It's great. Trying to kill Drake or a beefy threat? No, nah, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna play our our main game plan. Honestly, I'm gonna chill on the Iron Craig feats because realistically, um, they probably have like you know Aether Gust things like that post board, um. And I don't want to get my thing countered. I think our main plan is pretty fine against them. We could have like a braid against like the the thingy, um, the uh, the storming entity. But eh. like leyline, just like the the opportunity cost of playing leyline, your deck is just so high, and they're not like so all in on the graveyard that they need it, you know. Um, I almost like playing a horn or two here. I'm not, not gonna, not gonna have cage or anything, anything like that. Um, uh, doesn't Leyline hold their whole strategy? They can just cast Arclight Phoenix. They're playing removal spells and, and, and stuff, and then all the other threats, it doesn't, it doesn't bother. So, not really, no. It, it just changes how they play a little bit, you know? I'm gonna bring in, uh, uh, take out Trash Master 2 and 2. Sure, let's do that. Phoenix isn't that fast without Mana Morphos and stuff. Like, best case, they have, like, two Arclights attacking on, like, turn three, maybe. It's like they're, like, probable the best they can do. Right, and they've got, like, Crackling Drake, maybe, or Shrite Dragon, or, uh, the other one. I don't think I'll ever cast the Horn. Call. Call. If they're playing, like, Mizzix Mastery and, like, some sort of crazy graveyard stuff, sure. We can, like, bring in Ley Lines, but they're not really all in on the graveyard. It's more of an interactive deck. You know? Just an... Oh, yeah. There we go. Who was saying I'm really good at drawing, at drawing Prospector every time? Because you're right. 
Phoenix is a graveyard adjacent deck. That's a much more elegant way of saying what I just said in one small, elegant sentence. So, stop making me look bad. All right? <laughs> Let's go. Leyline is good against Crackling Drake too, Big Dog. Yogi. Yogi Brown, do not call me Big, big Dog in my chat when you are wrong, Yogi Brown. You're my friend, so I can make fun of you. Yogi Brown, go read Crackling Drake, all right? Dumb, dumb. Yogi Brown, not reading the cards. All right, planning is here. Yogi's my, Yogi's my friend, so I, I can make fun of him directly. The planning hits no phoenixes. Love it. We play. What a fun mod Monday. Oh, oh, Yogi Brown. Yogi Brown says, oh, crap. You right, Jim. Oh, you right. So you get nothing. That's what you get, Yogi. Get dunked. I never read, always punished. Yogi Brown. I miss you, bud. We got we to gotta cube soon. How's your vaccines coming? Why do I always put my lance, put my lance on the right? Give me lands on the left, so you're both gonna top deck a spell. <laughs> Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Fun stream today. I love y'all. Yeah, a lot of a lot of wheel spinning in the Arclight Phoenix decks, you know? They missed the land drop too. Oh man, that's brutal for this. There, there's Crackling Drake. If, 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 if you want to read it, Yogi, it's right here. If you want to read, if you want to read Crackling Drake, because if you want to read the part about the, if you want to, even want, it's right. Yogi Brown. Second dose last week. Sweet. I get mine this week. Once we're all vaccinated, we gotta freaking hang out. I gotta, I gotta, we gotta get my cube ready. Our house is painted now, which is great. So, uh, all right, we're gonna war chief here. We got three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll war chief here. They're missing a land drop. It's like probably just like too much to too much to, uh, to handle. Brainstorm, sure. Yogi Brown's got a little. Is, is, a, little, is a little Yogi Brown coming? I feel like I saw that and I forgot about it. Yogi, congrats, my friend. If I didn't congrats you already, baby girl, doing July. Damn. So you better get those uh, those cube drafts in before you are 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 gone forever. Yogi Daddy. Double brainstorm, sure. Isn't Mux just too high risk? What's the probability it doesn't pop off? Uh, pretty low. <laughs> pretty low. Six is a lot of cards. Six is a lot of cards. You don't need to get much from Mux just for it to be good. Like, the floor on Mux is usually, like, get a 4-4 four -four, it's really good, and, like, one or two goblins, and the ceiling is win the game. So. You want to see how good it is? I'll show you. This is how good it is. Oh, I, I need to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Daddy's home. Survey says, you're dead. Ah! Now, what an easy game. Just easy game here on my, I'm just gonna put my feet up, bask in this a little bit. Oh yeah, can I hit the last time my foot? Easy game. Oh, easy game. I think Mux is too good, honestly. Goblins. Everybody want to talk. Well, they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they cast the spells. They forgot about Muxus. That's right. 6 0 today on Mog Monday. 6 0. Carl, uh, it's funny, Nicole said to play Goblins in a tournament yesterday. And I was like, I should just play a new deck with some new cards. Have to, you know, I'm a streamer. I got to show some new stuff. But Goblins, Carl. Carl came in fourth yesterday in the tournament playing, uh, obviously adapted for the, for the metagame Goblins, but still just, you know, Goblins is still good. Mux is still good. If you got Goblins, go play it. Win some matches, all right? YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Glad you enjoyed Mug Monday. Leave a comment, please. And uh, I love you, YouTube. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Look for my, uh, my match analysis video on YouTube as well.